Okay, well, there's two more, just two mm. more things I want to talk about quickly. One is uh, speaking as we're traveling down the road from intellectual heights. There's political correctness, mm. a group think mentality, which you've been, which you've, yeah. uh, which you've attacked happily, mm. um, and the notion that um, it, it's to some extent shame once again comes in here. Uh, um, mm. I was talking to Ian McEwen recently about his, he received a prize and went to Israel and, sp- and, and was oh, castigated yes. for yeah, that. Yeah. And, and I know, of course, you've spoken out uh, 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 against Israel's treatment of, of Palestinians. I have, and, but, but I'm, a, but, but, you know, uh, but I'm, I'm a, Jewish and I see, yeah, the, yeah, I see yeah, the right for Israel yeah, to yeah, exist as yeah. a state and I have family who live in Tel Aviv and I'm, if I want to visit them, I'll bloody well visit them. Yeah, I will not be told not exactly. to. Exactly, <laughs> okay. So uh, 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 let's talk a little bit about this curse of, uh, to, uh, the combination of, of political correctness and virtue signaling that mm. you cannot say certain things now, uh, which which is the opposite of the of, of, of the Enlightenment in some sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm temperamentally a liberal, but a hand wringing liberal, mm-hmm. a, a milk a milk toast liberal, yeah. a, 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 an unsure, um, worried, carpet slippered, becardigant, you know, mm-hmm. uh, Ian Forstery sort of a, a liberal. <laughs> Um, I'm not a hardline lefty. Um, I have a sympathy with a lot of social justice uh, uh, imperatives sure. and, and, and quests and so on. But, but I just want the left to be smarter than it is. <laughs> I, I want it to be aware of how it's alienating, you know, well-meaning, good people are just outraged and upset and frightened by the, the redaction of human lives, you know, a person being cast into outer darkness without trial, without due process, uh, for, for, you know, all kinds of reasons, and for the language being used carelessly. Yes. Uh, yeah, languages can be a, a, a ticking bomb. You can occasionally, obviously, if you start talking about people as cockroaches and so on, we're all aware of yeah. how, you know, racist language can, can, can be a, 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 a vicious precursor to racist behaviour and to blood on the streets. But, but it is just language. But, you know, I, I think I agreed to be on stage with Jordan Peterson at, yes. at a debate... Uh-huh. Um, he's not someone I necessarily yeah. agree with in all, I, all I, I was surprised, you know? but I guess I understood. Um, it was all, I, I very draw, open-minded. I drew the line at Ben Shapiro, <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. But, but, but Jordan Peterson, I thought, well, th- that's the point, is exactly. to say, you know, there are things I disagree with this man on, but I do agree with him on the fact that, and from, from my point of view, it's because I actually lament the failure of the left. I think yes. the rise of Bannonism and the, the, the alt-right and, and its equivalents across Europe is more a catastrophic failure of the left than a particular triumph of the right. 